Welcome back guys, Matt here from MyRawIntuition.com, back to the work week guys. It is Monday morning, going back to work, hope you guys had a nice weekend. Let's take a look at what I'm taking for food, and then just a little nugget out of uh, John McCabe's book, Extinction. So let's take a look. Alright, we've got uh, my smoothies here of banana strawberry chia seed. I haven't done strawberry banana for quite a long time and it's pretty refreshing. I've got three apples here. I've got a couple ambrosia and I think that's a Fuji. And then I've got uh, my Pyrex here with some green grapes and a few red grapes. Alright, so that is what I'll be eating today. Um, you know, Thanks for all you guys sharing what you're taking to work as well. Uh, a lot of great stuff out there, so keep it up. Uh, guys, <clears throat> so still reading Extinction here, and you know, I've always known that the fishing, in, well not always, but uh, since I've started looking into this, the fishing industry is atrocious. It is destroying, you know, the ecosystem in our waters and polluting them and all this stuff. Um, you know, I didn't realize that they had, it's called long line fishing. I knew they had ways of just collecting mass amounts of fish, but uh, long line fishing is a line that stretches across the top of the water for between one mile and 62 miles. And then every 100 feet or so, there's another line that drops down that's a, it has a baited hook on it. Now this can attract birds and other animals that will go after the bait and drown or you know be killed somehow. Uh, by going after that and so you know 62 miles long that's insane and they can just leave it out there they don't even have to attend it you know if I were to fish which I never would anymore and I left my pole without being there I would get fined but they can do it for 20 12 to 24 hours and there's uh, no penalty all right sorry I gotta get going have a great day look into long line fishing and always follow your raw intuition